Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to clone your Windows system drive using a tool called Active Disk Image Professional. All right, so this is not a free program. It's pretty cheap, but they do give you a free fully functional trial. So I guess if you're doing a one-time clone, technically it's free, but if you're going to be using it on a regular basis, then you could go ahead and buy it. So if you go to their website, they have the freeware version, which has some disk management utilities, but it doesn't have the clone option. And then there's the professional version, which does have the clone option, and you could download the trial right here and install it. All right, so once you have it installed, you have the option here to clone the disk. You have some other options here that you could check out. So if you did buy it, you could do some other things, such as disk copies, make disk images, and so on. All right, so we're going to be using the clone disk option, but before we do that, let's see what we're going to be working with. Open up disk management here. Okay, so we have our C drive here, 75 gigs, and then we have a 150 gigabyte drive with nothing on there. So you don't have to have a volume created or a drive letter. It could be just a, a new hard drive that's in there as long as it's initialized. All right, so we'll click on clone disk here. Click on next. All right, so our source disk is going to be disk zero with all of our partitions here for Windows. And destination disk, the only one we have to choose from is the one that's not selected as the source. Now this, I'm not sure why it's grayed out to keep original size and location of partitions. It may have something to do with it not being the same size. And you'll see why I mentioned that once we look at the uh, disk once it's cloned. All right, so you have the option here to delete all data on the destination disk or do not delete partitions on the destination disk. So you're most likely going to want to choose this option here because you're going to run into some problems if you try and save existing partitions on the disk and make it your Windows drive. So if you do have data on the destination disk, make sure you back it up first because it's going to get wiped. All right, so here are options here from disk 0 to disk 1. All right, so now we'll start the process here. So this will take a bit of time. This takes a little bit longer than some of the other disk cloning apps that we've tried. Not sure why, but I noticed that. And this will be in our playlist along with a bunch of other disk cloning software you could use, and most of it is actually free to use. All right, so we'll pause the video and then be back when this is done. All right, so the process has completed. It took 18 minutes. So click on Finish. All right, so now let's take a look at disk management again. All right, so here's our original 75 gig disk, and here's the clone. It puts it offline, most likely so you don't have two uh, bootable disks starting up at the same time in case you start your computer with both of them in there. And then we have 75 gigs of unallocated space, and we'll show you how to fix that in a minute here. All right, so now I'm going to Turn off the computer, take out disk 0, and just boot it up with disk 1, the 120 gig disk, and then we'll see what happens. All right, so we got a Windows logo, so that's a good sign. All right, log in here. Okay, so let's open up disk management again. All right, so you can see we're using our 150 gig disk here. And then we still have our unallocated space. But if we try to expand this drive to use the rest of the space, it's grayed out. And that's because this recovery partition is in the way. So to get around that, we're going to use the free Naive Partition Editor. So we use this all the time for this type of problem. So let's open it up here. So I have it already downloaded. So there's a free version and a pro version. So the free version will work fine. Then there's also an installable version and a standalone portable version like I'm using here. So you don't have to install anything.
All right, so there's our problematic partition here. So we're going to right click it, resize move, drag it to the right. Now you can see it puts it on the end, so these two are next to each other now. Now we just need to apply it to have the changes take effect. And now we can merge the volume from here, or we could go back out into disk management. You can see it refreshed itself, and we, now if we right click, we can extend the volume, use all of the available space. And now we have our 150 gig C drive. All right, so let's open the program again here. You'll get this activation thing here if you don't buy it. All right, so once again, just install the program. Make sure you get the professional version. Do the clone disk option here. Go through the wizard. I won't be able to do it because I don't have two drives. And then just wait for the process to complete and then swap your drives out. And then if you need to extend that space, if you have a larger drive, then you could do the uh, Now You'll Be Partition Editor for that, and you'll be good to go. All right, so I'll put a link in the description where you could download Disk Image Professional and then also Now You'll Be Partition Editor. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe. Mm -hmm.